What's going on, engineer team? This is video 10 and the final video of my Python Basics video series. In this video, we're talking about file input and output. Just like every video in this series, the level is beginner. What is file output? It's basically writing to files and reading from files. It's that simple. In this video, we're going to talk about how to open files, talk about the different open modes, how to read the entire file, how to read a files line by line how to write and append to files, and how to close files. So to start, we'll first need a file to read and write from. So I've created a file called animals.txt, and we'll just add a couple animals, dog, cat, fish. To open a file, we're gonna use the open function. So to open a file, create a variable, I'm gonna use animals, equals open, and open takes two arguments. The first argument it takes is the path to the file. So in my case, it's in the same folder. So animals.txt will be fine. The second argument is the mode for the file. So for this, I'm going to use a plus, which is open for reading and appending. There's other modes as well, and I'm gonna just copy them down here. So there's several different modes. I'm gonna talk about five of them. The first one is R, which is for read, and that's by default. If you don't supply anything as a second argument to open, it's going to open it for reading. W is open for writing, but also truncate the file, meaning if the file had any data in it, it's going to remove all that data. R plus is open for reading and writing. W plus is open for reading and writing, but also truncate the file. And then A plus is open for reading and appending, so everything you write will appear at the end of the file. Now it's important to note that the animals variable does not contain the contents of animals.txt. All it contains is the file object for animals.txt. To actually read and write from that file, you have to call other methods in that object. If you want to simply just read all the contents from that file directly into a variable, you could just do type of variable name. I'll just do text equals animals. And then the method you want to call is dot read. That will just read everything into that file. And we can print that out just to test it here. And you can see it outputs all the all the content from the file. If you want to read everything in animals.txt line by line, you can actually treat the file object animals a lot like an iterator. So in this case, I could do for animal in animals. So I'll just print out the animal. We'll try that over here. And you can see it just does the exact same thing as, as reading everything. Now here's the part where we can write to the file or append to the file. And the reason I separate those two is because if you open a file for writing, you're gonna start writing to the file at the beginning of the file. If you open it for appending, everything you write is going to be at the end of the file. Now the one note there is if you read all the way to the end of the file and then you write to it, it doesn't matter if you're in append mode because it's going to write to the end anyways at that point. So to write to the file, I'm gonna add two more animals. So I'm going to type the name of the file object, dot write. So I'll do two. I'll add elephant, and then new line, and then I'll add, say, frog. Now when I output this, I'll have to do it twice. The first time it doesn't show anything because it didn't, it output everything before it, it wrote it. But now if I do it again, you can see now I get my new two animals. And finally, the last piece is closing the file. Very simple, animals, dot close. And we're done. That's file input and output and the conclusion of the Python Basics series. Comment down below if you have any questions on this video and tell me how you like the series. I, I would really enjoy knowing. I read every single comment and I'm going to respond to every comment if I can. Subscribe if you want notifications for new videos. And if you thought this video deserved it, go ahead and hit the like button. See you on the next series or on the next video.